let it go, let it go down. It's good that we are pushing down because now 15 minute closes bearish. The new 15 minute love. Now look at this, guys. Look at this. Understand this. This 15 minute candle closes bearish, right? New 15 minute candle goes down, right? And then eventually when it when it flips bullish, when it flips bullish, that would be the 30 minute candle flipping bullish. We will have this bottom wick on the 15 minute as our possible support. And at the flip of this 15 minute candle, which will also be the 30 minute flip, because then we will have a new 30 minute candle and we have 30 minute previous 30 minute candle closing bullish in our favor. So that would be something I will be looking for like this, you know, something like this. Let's look at how the five minute candle is closing. All right. Yeah, we, we are seeing some pullbacks on the five minute time frame. If you look at the one minute, look at this, guys. Look at this dodgy candle closing right here. And I think I guess we have just fallen. Early buys would be good. Like if you want a higher, a higher reward, mm -hmm. like take a small position now. All right. <clears throat> No, let's let me just it's this one minute close because that would be the five minute closure i don't know that like i just want to take one trade with big lots risk like half person yeah. or maybe one person and because paper get losses is it just reduces my confidence, overall confidence mm. for the rest of the day. So I guess I would wait. Even though like there, there are chances like it can continue, keep continue pushing up, but still. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe getting in on the 15 minute flip. Now on the 15 minute flip, like I don't think it's gonna flip 15 minutes. In fact, it's just like four minutes left for the 15 minute to close. Yeah, 30 minutes going to close now in four minutes, guys, and expect a bottom wake flip to. But the 30 up. minute bottom wake and flip is still a good buy. Yeah. And this setup, it could be like this. If, if look at this, then like if we can close weak bearish on the 15 minute, and you know the deal, like yeah. that's Raja's favorite setup right here. That's that setup, and then it's a small bottom wake, and then on the. Mm. Just Mm 
Mm. All right, guys, what we can see right here is that the 15 minute candle will be closed bullish with the C positive CPI news for our GPP. The 15 minute candle pulled down to make a bottom wick. And if we look at the 15 minute bottom wick right here, it's a possible rejection and retest of this broken resistance level as a support. Now, if we can close this 15 minute candle weak bearish, I'm expecting that the new 50 minute candle, we have a small bottom wick and eventually continue pushing to the upside. And at the same time, that would be the new 30 minute candle as well. So same things on the new 30 minute candle, a bottom wick, and then eventually flip to drive, continue pushing up. I think we're going to get that weak candle. Yeah. One minute, two minutes left now. Just don't want it to fucking drive before the close of this candle. I'm going to risk half percent on this trade. If it would have been London session and this setup happening, then like a higher is. Look at gold, like it's just just going down. Ooh, nice. All right, new 15 minute candle. Let's look at 30 minute. Yep, looks good. Just a slightly deeper bottom weekend. Yeah, minutes. and then I'm in. Yes, and I don't think it's gonna give a super bottom. It's gonna do it. I just gonna wait for the one minute to close and then all. Yeah, I mean. All right, guys, I'm into the bias, as you can see, and let's see what happens, because I don't want this 15-minute candle to flip bearish at this point. I just want it to just keep pushing to the upside, right? And we are running in four pips. We are running in four pips. Come on, GJ. Come on. If you can break up of 162 500, it's just going to shoot up. Mm. 162 500, I have my eyes on because that is also the previous 15 minute highs. Yeah. You just wait for the one to close. We're going to go now. Don't worry, Kashif. You advise then? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Come on. No, it should be if it starts to flip now. 
I'm hoping it'll squeeze. Yeah. How's it looking on the one minute? Let me just see. It's looking okay. Just this current one minute needs to flip. Oh, the yeah. Right here. Let's see in the one minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, 162, 500, like it would be like my. But I think it should go, man. Like it's going to. Mm -hmm. Imagine we just hit the uh, equal highs at 162. I think highs. at least to, to retest the previous candles uh, to, uh, top week. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes is going in. It should fill the wick right here. Let's see. Yeah. I don't like the way this one minute closed. But now if we can like, obviously, yeah. the, this one minute close bearish. So that is like, if you look at the one minute structure, that is a possible support rejection area. So now if we can break the highs, can continue. Yeah, that, now that's... if it goes up, it's going to just squeeze hard because it's like mm. pull back within the candle already. Mm. If... No guarantees. <laughs> No. Ah. It hurts. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> the moment it flips bearish and breaks its all low, I'm gonna manage the risk. Yeah. Shouldn't do that. Oh, nice. <clears throat> What's your increase at? Mm, Sixty-two four hundred. Oh, you? above your break-even, my is four sixty-two four hundred. Same. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing copy trading. <laughs> Oh yeah, it it just want to go up like. Let's just see them. Five minutes. Five minutes should hold its own low now. Mm. <clears throat> yep, yeah, it's holding its own low. The five minute time frame, for now. Yep, look at the one minute. Yeah, like now yeah. it's in my screen. Exactly, now one minute. If we can... now like it's good. If we can break the previous one minute highs on the one minute time frame, we could. All right, breaking the previous one minute oh. highs on the one minute time frame and uh, we are squeezing up. Let's see if we break now this high right here, 162, 470. The confidence is coming back into the game. As you can see, we are about to break the previous five minute highs as well. Come on, GJ, push. Push like you are having twins. <laughs> ah! Not even twins. Push like you are having triplets. Yes, that's what I mean. 
going up guys it's going up all right and running in eight pips eight 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 can we get nine can we get ten then you holding or are you securing at 10 pips i'm gonna hold it my cp is retest you're gonna uh, hold it up till what retest at least to retest the previous candle high all right well i just want oh, let me see how this one minute closes and then i'll decide Is that 500 level? Once we break and close above there, it's good. Yeah, like this 500 level is also the previous 50 minute highs as well. And five minute candle gonna close in one and a half minute, guys. All right, it's squeezing up still. Go now. Come on, come on. Like the reason I'm saying I want to hold it is because if you look on the five minute, if this five minute closes strong bullish, it's closing above the wicks. Mm -hmm. And then the next one theoretically should just continue running. Exactly. You know? The moment we close above 162, 500 level on the one minute time frame, we can hit the top wick at 162, 580, and that would be 20 pips on this trade. Yep, five minutes gonna close in 40 seconds to be precise. I'm confident if this five minute closes the way it is now, like just just at 500 or close to 500 or above, it's even better. Mm -hmm. We can go. Squeeze, boy. Yep, we're going now. It should go now. You're still holding, eh? Yes, Zen, I'm still holding, running in 30 pips. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. To be precise. I'm confident if this 500 closes the way it is now, I just All right, guys, running in 15 pips now. I guess at this point, I'll just close a little bit of a position right here up at the Can top. Can I tell you what? No, it's going to squeeze even more after you close, but close yeah. it. Just close <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, it's lovely. If we can break 160 to 600, it's just going to go with the new 15-minute candle, 100%. Mark my words. If it doesn't happen, go. I don't know you guys. I go. And you don't know me. <laughs> That's why we have the break even placed. <laughs> the guy's running in 15.
I just want this 15 minutes, even if you just wick slightly above the previous 15 high, then you know like the next one's gonna continue. Go. Then did you secure something? No. <laughs> but I'm hey, watching it like we I'm watching the one minute. My my finger is on the secure button. So like I'll, if it just does anything I don't like, I'll secure immediately. All right. All right. So we have like Caesar, Hamid, PC, Rob. Who took the trades with us, guys? Come on, like participate in the live chat. Come on. You guys like silent. Just let us know you took the trade or you don't took the trade. Hey, bro. Hi, hi, Hamid. Can you? Yeah, I, I was just driving and I took a trade. But instead of putting a TP163, I, I put 162. And it closed in like $6 for me. All right, nice. It's still up. Uh, no, man. I... Uh, I was hoping for more up, but I was driving, so I could not. It missed. But it was a good trade. Good. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much, Hamid. Anyone else? Caesar, Atik, PC, Rob? <laughs> All right. Caesar took the trade, and Zen took the trade. I took the trade. Hamid took the trade. We good. So now like in one minute, we're going to close the 50 minute candle and let's see if we can have a bottom week, break the high, break this week up at the top to continue even more to the upside. You know what, like Zen, what I'm going to do, like I'm going to like secure a little bit more position <laughs> at 10 pips. Because the new 50 minute candle is gonna give me a bottom wick, so I don't wanna get out of at break even without securing anything. Oh, couldn't. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, PC took the trade as well. Congratulations, everyone. Share your trades in the trading chat room, guys. Come on. What are we doing? All right, Nuffy took the trade as well, the buys. Even though he's on not on the live stream, but yeah, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship is working out. All right, new 50 minute candle. We are having a bottom wick. I hope it doesn't take me out at the break even. Because now if we flip. The... Fucking right there. <laughs> Needs to flip now. Yeah. All right, guys, the new 50 minute candle having a bottom wick flipping. I'm going to add like a, more positions right here at the flip. Possibly I'm going to have a buy stops. Yeah, I'm going to add up more position because if it flips, continue pushing up, that would be good. But if we now break the low, then after getting into the second trade, I'm going to close all of my positions and that would be the break even for me. Let's see. But the idea is in 10 pips, 15 pips, you close 50% and break even on a live account, like on the challenges, obviously you sometimes you have to hold for a runner. It's respecting the structure on the one minute, it should go up now. 
All right. Let me just adjust my buy. Oh, I'm already in the buy stops now. Fuck. Yep, <clears throat> going up. Come on, flip GJ, the 50 minute time frame. All right, guys, we are flipping. Now the 50 minute time frame, my second trade entry. I hope it just fills the wake up to the top and that would be uh, seven pip on my second add-on position and a total of 15 pips on my first position. And if we can eventually break the highs right here, that would be golden for me, to be honest. To be honest. Let's go back on the one minute time frame and it's just going up. 162, 500 breaking. Come on, these are just push. Then you're still holding the trade, right? Yeah, I closed half earlier. But I... Up at I'll the show top? you what I did. Yeah. I'll show you what I did after. It's just uh, just trying to let's just focus on, on on this one for now. This five minute needs to close a bit strong, and then we mm. we good. But I'm also I'm fine to hold it because like if the five minute closes like that fucking weak weak bearish, it should just the next one should just engulf because the bullish candles leading leading in are much bigger than the. It's going then. Go We're going now. We're going. Mm. all right so close some positions right here new 50 minute candle bottom week add on at the flip and now breaking the highs right here with the volume running in 15 plus 7 it's gonna go now i'm gonna hold now mm. Just wait for the one minute to close. I don't like this. Ah, I don't like it. Yeah, the five minute close bullish with a top wake with a one minute, another rejection. Oh boy. We are also closing the one over time frames and like a one over time frame and the new one over candle, like it should close the one over it candle should, should break. Going up. Yeah. Like there's entries on the next one hour as well, in my opinion. Hmm. And to the left on the one over, like we have like a resistance from the left hand side at 160 to 600. So with the new one over bottom wake break of the high, that would be the break of that resistance on the left hand side, and eventually we further drive up. Okay, we're going up again now, and we should get the final squeeze now. Well, I'm up, so. Just respect 500 as support. Come on, GJ. No, we're going now, Kashif. Seriously? Yeah, I think so. Yep. No, not yet. <laughs> 20 seconds. No. No, oh, fuck. Hold <laughs> on. Just hold on. Look at the volume now on the one. Fuck. <laughs> I knew it, like something's going to happen. Like... All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I don't like it, Zen. Now, like, if we don't break the 162.550 level now on the one minute, it's a dangerous sign because it's a triple top. We're going to go, bro. Don't worry. This thing is too fucking bullish for it to fucking go down. All right. Zen. Now.
Ah, fuck. <laughs> now. Now, now 100%. 100%. Do you see it then? Yeah. All right. All right. So tapping 162, 600 level, 20 pips from our first trade and then the second trade. And it's just going now. I see no reason for it to not come back. Yeah. Like it's breaking the triple top formation on the on the one minute. Yeah. yeah. Pull back and just continue pushing up. Oh, don't like the way the one minute candle closed then. Mm -hmm. I really don't like it. Yeah, I'm going to close. Yeah, my second position, my stop loss is right here. <clears throat> because if this 15 minute now flips bearish, I'm just getting out like, my both positions are at break even now. Like, I don't fucking care now. I'm just going to let it go. All right. First position out at break even. And I guess it's going to go down to. Yep, now the one minute if it breaks the low, guys, I'm going to close all, all full position. Hope this fucker just rips now. Last five minutes. Miss London open. Ooh. Please go. Then I pray like it's go to 16300 without you securing anything. Yo, bro. Got a fucking stressful story. I'll tell you just now. Because this is the thing, like starting phase of the phase two, you need some some big gain runners. Now it should.
London open in three minutes. I hope London open, no bottom wing, nothing, just fucking off to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way the 30 minute is closing. Like, just near Such a difference. fucking idiot. You know that I'm so stupid, bro. I'll tell you. 30 minutes closing bullish, but it's. The one hour is so strong, man. No, man, fuck. You have to hold this thing. The only the only concerns I have is the new one over candle going down to make make a steeper bottom wick. That yeah. shouldn't happen. But it's fought so much. Like I think the liquidity and everything happened now in this last few minutes. I'm hoping that. Come on, last candle, fucking give us a squeeze. All right, guys, 20 seconds for the London to open. All right, guys, 20 seconds, London session to open. Eight seconds. All right, guys, 20 seconds, London. Come on. Fuck. Go. Two seconds for London to open and London open right here. And all right. No bottom wick on the London mm. open. And it's just going above 162, 600. Can we squeeze up to 162, 700? That is the question right now. Running in 18 pips. I think so. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> How's the one minute swing? Yeah. <laughs> it's going. All right. Is it? No, it's whipping. It's going up, down, up, down. Like, <laughs> near closure. Give me on a Zen in 30 pips. I'm going to close. I think we're going. Go. Two seconds for Please fucking go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's fun. It's so much fun. I'm just trusting that fucking one hour was so strong that close it should mm. continue going up. All right, it's going now, I think. Yep, it's going now, Zen. It's going. Yeah. Close your eyes and hold. You fucking waited so long. I'm going to chew off my Wi-Fi connection wire and come back tomorrow with this trade. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, 
you know then like the moment we flip the one over bearish 160 to 5 yeah. okay, i'm gonna secure more because yeah then it's it's gonna go down wait I have my crosshair on the close button, 160 to 550. Wait, so you... fucking huh? Go! All right, 28 pips. I think it should go now. Oh, fuck, I don't know, actually. <laughs> no, the one minute having a strong weak rejection up from the top. Yeah, the five minute going to close in 30 seconds. I don't like it now. I'm going to secure 50% right here in 18 pips. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave my small. I've got a small run I left now. Yeah. Fuck it. It ran for 28 pips. Eh? Like it's a bit, it's a good trade. It's lovely. All right, going now. All right, now running in 30 pips. And at this point, 32 pips. Can we get 30? 30, 30, 30, uh, I'm out. I close full position. I'm done then. Up like half percent on the challenge and it's a lovely trade. <sighs> what a session. Right now.